so welcome back to my channel my name is taylor shanae and if you've never watched any of my content i focus on all things lifestyle beauty and fashion so today our video is going to be a plus size date night inspo so i know that this is a hard topic you know when you're invited out on a date you get really nervous but you want to set a good first impression on someone even if it's not like your first date you still always want to look your best feel your best because you're getting to know somebody right and this can even be um a friend date because we all know when it's time to go out the girls be given so it doesn't matter what kind of date you're going on a friend date a friend a date with a guy that you just met or somebody that you've been dating for a while now um we want to look and feel our best so i know in the past for me it's always so much pressure just trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear um wanting to be comfortable but sexy at the same time and i can get discouraged so if you are anything like me um, I picked out three date night inspo outfits. This is going to be our dress edition, girls. So if you are a girly girl or if you like wearing dresses, then I have three completely different dress options for you based on the date, the type of date that you're going on. So let's say this is a casual date, maybe Sunday fun day vibes. You want to be cute, but you want to be comfortable and casual. I have this rust color button down dress from pretty little things it has ruching going diagonal and when i tell y'all this dress was so cute when i first got it if you've watched any of my older videos you know i just had vsg surgery and <sighs> y'all all my dresses are becoming too big so that is a good problem to have but i'm kind of sad that a lot of these dresses that i already had in my closet are either sold out or they just don't make it anymore so um this brown or rust color i don't know what color you would describe it as is super cute it's casual and comfy but also a little sexy with the ruching. You can make this dress as long and it could just be like a long button down shirt without the ruching. You can um, unscrunch it or whatever um, and just wear it as a plain button down dress. Or you can scrunch it up, give a little leg and it'll be so cute. I paired these dresses, um, I didn't change my shoes y'all, so I paired these dresses with these brown booties with the peak toe. I got these from Shein. They are like sock material and when I tell y'all they're so comfortable. A, a, a low heel, um, if you've never watched any of my videos, and I'm sorry I keep saying that, um, I was in a car accident in 2016 so I don't do the really high heels. Um, it's really bad on my ankle and it's just not comfortable. I'm hoping that the more weight I lose, I'll be able to make my transition back into heel heels because I am definitely a heel girl. Okay. Definitely a heel girl. So, um, that is our first dressed up here. The rouge dress. I'm going to put the name of these items on the screen. I believe at least two of these items you'll still be able to find. Um, two of them are from Pretty Little Things and one of them um, is a dress from Boohoo. So up next, y'all. So say your guy call you like, okay, we're going to go to a nice dinner. I want to take you out to dinner. So you want to be sexy but not too revealing so you go in your closet and you find the perfect little black dress when i tell y'all this is the perfect little black dress it's actually what i have on today it has a cow neck um it's a cow neck but it's a really stretchy material like i said i'm going to put the name of the item down below all of these items are in a size 3x and I'll also put that on the screen and in the description as well. So this midi cow neck dress, it's really like, it's not set. And I don't know what the material is, but it's really stretchy. So you really can size down in it. When I got it, I believe that it was um, a bit big. 
so you can size down in it if you would like um because it has the maximum amount of stretch now i do think it's a little see-through depending on the give that it has to give so um definitely do uh black underwear um uh, black bra or maybe just black um, maybe you want to tape your boobs and just use black tape i think that that will work or even a nude nude underwear as well um but this dress is great it comes just past the knee but it also has kind of like a split in the front right above the knee so you're still showing some leg really really sexy perfect little black dress you're still comfortable now y'all i didn't try these dresses on with my shapewear i know better than that don't be judging me i know better than to go out without my shapewear because we want everything smooth and cute and like i said sexy so um last but not least let's get to dress number three um dress number three was too small when I got it, right? Super cute, but too small when I got it, y'all. This dress is, um, I guess it's like a wraparound dress, but it's a side, it's like a, a side tie. So you tie it on the side and it droops down in the front, giving you that nice cleavage, or it's so much fabric in the lapels on the dress. It's like a, it's like a blazer dress. But it's a little bit more lax because it has the, the wrap. It's like a wrap dress. So you tie it, but it's satin. When I tell y'all I love this dress, this green is giving me life. Like, I love this green on my complexion. It's super cute. It's super short. So if you are not into short dresses, but this dress, this that girl, she is going to give you sexy you giving full leg, you giving split, and if it's too short, you might have to put like some little, some little boy shorts, like brief shorts underneath it, because I find that because it's satin, the um, it has a button on the inside, so you can button it, but then you tie it, and with that tie, it's the satin you can get it real tight, but it's something about that satin that just unravels. So you want to make sure that you tie that real tight so you're not, <laughs> you ain't exposing yourself, girl. Don't be out here exposing yourself. So um, tie it up really tight. It's super sexy. You giving cleavage, you giving legs, and I love the bat wing sleeves. I love a good drapey sleeve. I'm a girl with big arms. So I love a, a dress or a shirt that has a lot of room in the sleeve area. Now, like I said, some of my dresses are a little bit big for me because I am, I did just have VSG surgery. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a couple of different options. So you got your casual dress option. Um, you can wear heels with that dress, the first orange rustic dress. Or, or you can even wear sneakers or boots. Like you can wear a flat knee-high boot or thigh-high boot with any of these dresses. Um, so I just paired mine with my small little booty. Um, you can wear it out in the cold. You know, maybe your feet are going to be cold, but it's really thick. It's like real thick sock material. But you got those two toes out because it's a peekaboo shoe. Um, and I got it from Shein. I will put the link in the description if they are not sold out. Um, but... When I tell y'all, fashion has no size. Sexy has no size. Don't forget that. Like, sexy has no size at all. Fashion has no size at all. It's 2022, y'all. We don't have to be basic no more. We don't have to be basic anymore. Did you hear me? We do not have to be basic anymore. And we can feel good about ourselves, and it's okay to feel sexy it's okay to feel like you are worth looking the way you look even if you're not going out on a date with someone take yourself on a date take yourself on a date make you feel good about you maybe you want to get the green dress and go out it'll be nice to go out you know with a guy but when I, let me tell you something that green dress if you take yourself out on a date, you might be, you're you going to find a couple dates while you're in that green dress. 
So stop doubting yourself. Um, these are just my words of encouragement. I know that before I completely found my sense of style and I'm still finding my sense of style. Um, I was very insecure, self-conscious about how sexy I could be because I never wanted to be over-sexualized. You know, if you're in the plus size community, how we are over-sexualized and it's like, we're looked at like we're almost demanded to do certain things or expected not to be cute or not to feel sexy or feel like we are worthy but we are we are and we can be cute it's 2022 so let's cut all the crap okay and this is going to be the end of our haul um this is plus size date night inspo um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I think I'm going to try and do this like maybe once or twice a month. Um, just date night out outfit inspos. Um, I'm getting more into the fashion hauls. So let me know how you guys like this content and don't, don't be weird. Don't be weird. Go like, comment and subscribe. And if you and if you always watch my videos, click the notification bell so you can be notified when a video is being uploaded. You don't want to have to go to your YouTube and try to hope and pray I come up in your timeline. And you don't know my name. It's Taylor Shanae. Go like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.